In the last episode, we have seen the prototype of the frame front. Let's talk about the production process of the temple now. After the putch cutting, we can already see the contour of the temple. Now, we need to perform the process of inserting the hinge core wire. To achieve various leg shapes, we need to use different fixed molds and four different molds. We require different pre-treatments for the legs. Here, we will introduce two kinds of temple shapes. The first one is a flat surface temple shape. The other type is a three-dimensional temple shape with various protrusions and indentations on the surface. For the 3D temple shape, we need to do some preparatory work. First, we will use a milling machine to roughly mill the surface shape of the temple. This process will allow it to fit more closely with the mold. Here, we can take a look at the differences in the molds. For the two types of temple shapes, we require two different molds, fixture mold and embossing mold. The fixture mold corresponds to the flat surface temple shape. As for the embossing mold, it corresponds to the 3D temple shape. After rough milling the temple shape, using the milling machine. We will further shape the details by using the embossing mold. How do we insert the hinge core? Into the sturdy temple sheet material. Heat comes into play once again. Through the application of heat, the temple material becomes as soft as noodles. Then, the mold is used to fix the temple. After becoming soft, the 3D temple shape will also form delicate details due to the pressure from the embossing mold. The hinge core wire are inserted. After cooling, the acetate hardens again and the temple shapes are formed. However, we may notice that some surface details are not perfect. There may be some burrs and surface particles. Our workers will manually remove the larger particles. Then, they will cover the hinges. The purpose of covering the hinges is to protect them from wearing out during polishing. After that, the temple will be polished by the tumble polisher. After five days of tumbling and polishing, the smooth and glossy temple appear. Many customers like to have their own logo, crafted at the end of the temple tips. Below is a brief introduction to several methods of creating logos. Laser engraving, paint, metal insert and epoxy. Now, a pair of temples is mostly completed. And our work shall continue as well. If you're an eyewear brand owner who need product support, or maybe you want to build your eyewear brand, no more hesitated to contact us. Our production team will try our best to help you. Next episode, we will assemble the frame and temple arms, and the appearance of a pair of glasses will be revealed. Stay tuned and look forward to it.